Okay guys, uh, good day. Now welcome back sa ating channel and welcome back for another lecture on uh, our review on uh, the division criminal jurisprudence. So we are uploading lectures for those who are intending to take their board examination on June 2022 no? for uh, criminal licensure examination. Okay guys, so this is our 8th upload already. No? So we're doing this daily. Para nang sa ganun ay uh, makatulong tayo sa inyo, no? Sa kahit na maliit na pamamaraan. Okay? So, uh, ayan. Uh, we have here our question. Should, uh, yes, we should jump into our lecture already, you know? So, for question number 8, we have here, let me just uh, read the question. Homicide, rape, robbery, and abortion are uh, classified as... Okay. So we have here four choices, ano? we're just going to talk about three of them. Three, <laughs> three of them because they are manakasaling all of them. Up. So basically, in this lecture, we will be classifying or we will be distinguishing what is a uh, felony, offense, and misdemeanor. No? Uh, by the way, so all of these are types of crime. Now, they're all, uh, they're all type of crimes. But you know, there's a, a, a little bit of distinction between the nature of uh, this crime to that crime and to that crime. So there's a distinction between felony, offense, and misdemeanor, and that's what we wanted to point out for today's lecture. No? So to be able to answer the question above, no? we need to distinguish or classify first. No? We need to discuss first what is felony, what is offense, and what is misdemeanor. No? So felony no? pertains to those crime. No? Uh, that are punishable in the uh, revised penal code. No? So we have kasi, uh, the different source of criminal law. No? If you can remember in your uh, criminal law book one, no, your, your uh, instructor had probably discussed to you the different sources of criminal law. No? And criminal law are, uh, pertains to those laws no? that defines no? Uh, what act would be considered as crime? Uh, what should, how should it be treated, and what punishment would it be uh, given in case there's a violation of such uh, crime that we are talking about? No. So basically, no, we we are going to uh, be uh, talking about these different sources and their relationship to the classification of crimes that we have. No. So felony no, are those crimes that are defined under the so-called revised penal code, which is one of the, I think this is the primary source of the so-called criminal law, no, yung revised penal code natin. A revised penal code is divided into two, no, revised penal code book one, no, that talks about uh, the different principles no, on the criminal law, such as we have the justifying circumstances, exempting circumstances, or the so-called jama'a, as well as the uh, concept of the criminal law that we have. The book two, no, that is where all these different acts are being defined. No, what what uh, uh, are the different crimes that are being defined therein? No, nandun kumbaga yung what act is defined as a crime, no? what is, uh, ano yung penalty niya, no? and how should it be treated. Okay? So, lahat ng nakalagay doon sa criminal law book to natin are considered or classified as felony. No? Another distinction that we can make is that yung mga nandun kasi sa revised penal code book to natin, yun yung mga tinatawag nating malain sa crime. No? Ang mala in sa crime pertains to those crimes that are inherently immoral by its nature. No? Yung talagang even if we don't have law that defines that certain act as a crime, then it is definitely considered as immoral by its nature. No? Hindi siya katanggap-tanggap sa, uh, uh, sa, sa ating lipunan. Let's say for example, pagpatay. No? Do we say that the crime of killing is only punishable because we have laws that punishes killing. No? Pag inalis ba natin yung batas na nagpaparusa sa pagpatay, would that be now an acceptable behavior? Would that be now an acceptable action? No? Of course, the answer is no. no. Regardless if there is a law that punishes killing, 
killing is still considered as immoral. Therefore, now even if we don't have law that punishes it, it is still an acceptable behavior. So, yun yung nature ng mala in sa crime, which is the nature of those crimes enumerated under the Revised Penal Code Book 2, classified as felony. Now, let's move to the choice letter B. Okay? We have here offense. No? Ang offense naman guys, these are those punishable acts or crimes defined by the uh, different laws that we have. Yung mga statute. Or other term for this is statutory crimes. No? Yung mga tinatawag natin mala prohibita crimes. No? Ito yung mga uh, criminal act that are uh, defined by the, the uh, so-called special laws. No? Special laws that we have. Yung mga Republic Act, no? uh, we have uh, uh, act, na, act, no? Republic Act, Act, Executive Orders, things like that. Those are all classified as offense. No? Ang nature naman nito in comparison to felony is mala prohibita crime. No? Ano yung ibig sabihin natin dito? That these crimes enumerated or classified as offense are those crimes that became wrong no? because there is a law that prohibits or defines it as a crime. So those crimes that are not inherently immoral, no, which only became bad or became a criminal act because the law says so. Di ba sabi ng batas, uh, it should be punishable. No? For uh, either for per, uh, for the protection of the environment, for uh, the protection of uh, the humanity, and so on. So, pag inalis natin ang mga batas na nagbabawal dito, it will now become an acceptable behavior. Katanggap-tanggap na siya. I'll give you an example. Okay? Let's say, for example, illegal lagging. What makes illegal lagging a crime? Or what makes illegal lagging illegal? No? The, the uh, thing that makes illegal lagging illegal is that because we have created a law that punishes illegal lagging. You remove the law on illegal lagging, then it is okay now to cut trees. Di ba? Okay lang. Pumutol ng kahoy kasi that's necessity naman. Di ba? Ginagawit natin pampatay ng bahay, pampagawa ng tulay, do? o kung ano pa mang construction na ginagamit natin sa ating pang-araw-araw na pamumuhay. That is literally acceptable behavior to cut trees. However, dahil nauubos na ang puno sa ating kagubatan, do? kaya nagkaroon tayo ng regulation no, when it comes to cutting trees at to the point that we already prohibited the so-called illegal lagging. Now, illegal lagging is now an acceptable behavior because there is a law that was created by us no, prohibiting such action. Now, yan yung nature ng mala prohibita which is the very nature of the so-called offense. No? So, offense ang tawag natin doon. Yung mga mala prohibita crime or those crimes that are enumerated or defined under the special laws that we have. Okay? What about misdemeanor? No? That's choice letter C. Misdemeanor pertains to those violation of uh, municipal ordinances. No? Yan naman yung nature ng misdemeanor. No? Infraction, may, uh, minor infraction of uh, uh, the law. No? So, yung mga minor infractions lamang, like, like yan, yan, yung mga municipal ordinances natin. Like, for example, our rule on uh, doon sa parking, no? parallel parking, no? which is only uh, ang, ang sinasaklaw lang nito as, as a batas is yung certain municipal jurisdiction lamang. No? So, uh, as a, the, if, if that is a, an act that is prohibited no? in a certain municipality only, no? then ang, ang classification natin dyan is the so-called misdemeanor. No? Now, since we had defined already the three uh, types of crime or classification of crime here, which do you think the above-mentioned types or examples of crime will fall into? Isa-isahin natin, homicide. No? Question, ang homicide ba is mali in sa crime? No? Uh, is it uh, wrong even if, there's a, uh, even if there is uh, no law that punishes homicide? The answer is yes. Of course, it's yes. No? Sabi ko nga kanina, ang pagpatay, kahit walang batas, eh, masama pa rin. So, regardless if there's a law or not, none, no? 
it is still considered as immoral act. Therefore, it is a mala in sa crime. Rape. No? Sa tingin nyo, pag ang wala na tayong batas na nagbabawal sa panggagahasa, then it is okay. It is already okay and acceptable to rape somebody. No? Of course not. Now hindi siya hindi siya ano, it's it's immoral. Then again, it will fall under the mala in sa classification of crime. What about robbery? If we don't have law that punishes robbery, would it be uh, acceptable to to rob anyone? No? Katanggap-tanggap bang mang hold up ka, no? Pag na, pag nakawan mo yung uh, uh, kung sino man, kung wala tayong batas na nagbabawal sa pagnanakaw? Of course no. That's a mala in sa crime. Abortion is the same. And that means that all of this crime mentioned on the question are classified as mala in sa crime. No? So kung mala in sa crime sila, ibig sabihin, they will fall under what classification of crime? Will it be felony, offense, or misdemeanor? So basically, the answer for this is letter A. We have felony. No? Again, they are considered as mala in sa crime. And they are prohibited even if there is no law. Uh, they are unacceptable even if there is no law that punishes this crime. So, they are known as felony. And where can we, found, uh, uh, where can we find the prohibition or the definition of the crime, homicide, rape, robbery, and so on? Saan? Sa book 2. No? Sa book 2 yan, sa revised penal code natin. So, that is defined or classified as felony. Okay? So that's it guys. Now I hope I was able to impart some knowledge with the topic that we just discussed today. No? And if you find our lecture interesting, useful, and uh, helpful, no? uh, I invite you to like, no? to hit the like button, and subscribe to our channel. You may share also our lecture uh, as a support na rin sa ating channel. Okay? That's it for today guys. Say uh, thank you for your uh, thank you for your time listening to our lecture. No? See you on the next video. Bye bye.